Alright guys, I'm setting up my little garden from last year and as you can see I'm just starting to plant and this is just stuff that I cut out and got to throw out. Um, got strawberries up here, we'll see if they come back. Uh, they're supposed to come back every year as long as they don't die over winter. And then down here this is a green and red pepper plant which I took from inside. I do an indoor garden too during the winter and during the summer which I usually grill lettuce and tomato cherry tomatoes in. I'll show you a little clip, clip, uh, clip of that right now. So outside what we're going to be doing is uh, red and green uh, peppers and then I just planted jalapenos with seeds down in here and then we're going to put a, probably a, maybe a cherry tomato in here. This is going to be all herbs. Probably put an herb in here and then we're going to have a big tomato there and I'll probably plant some more big tomatoes over in this area. I just got to get this wire out of the way. And then I'll probably throw some flower seeds down because I just randomly had some flower seeds. but. Just planted these jalapenos. Gonna be planting uh, probably a cherry tomato as well next to the jalapeno. And then I have big tomatoes somewhere, I think. I'm gonna have to find that if I don't have it in here. But I'm gonna be planting big tomatoes. If I don't have them, I'll go uh, get some seeds. And then all these uh, herbs here basil, chives, parsley, thyme, oregano, sage, and cilantro. So, gonna get those all planted. And we're just gonna be putting those pretty much most of them down in the front here uh, and if the strawberries don't come I'll either get more strawberries or plant more herbs up there alright so this is what I got done today of course like I said we're gonna wait for those see what happens couldn't find uh, tomato seeds for big tomatoes so I'm gonna have to get some of those be planting them over there but I just laid them out this is like a reference for me too so later I can go back and make sure I know where everything is But I got a basil over here I planted two or three seeds of everything and I can you know trim as I need and then I got these set up like this. We got parsley, cilantro, sage, chives, thyme, and oregano. And it might look like this is a very crowded spot, but I can grow um, seven different herbs inside in the arrow gardens that I showed earlier. So even though this looks small, it's a lot bigger than that arrow garden is that I have inside. And I can grow seven types of herbs in there. So you just prune a lot, and I use them a lot. So they will be a little crowded, but they'll work fine. Of course, I got the peppers I talked about, red and green. Then I put the jalapeno and the... Uh, put some uh, big cherry tomatoes over here but like I guess I will get some more other tomatoes the garden is real easy real fun I mean it's not super easy there's certain things but it's not that hard it's good to try I'd recommend it's uh, you know March now I'd recommend anyone that's into it it's not that expensive to get one of these little planters and some uh, dirt and seeds give it a go it's, it's awesome to grow your own food and um, herbs are real easy um, outdoor tomatoes and jalapenos are pretty easy don't really have to do much of anything to them but if you want the easiest herbs are easy uh, lettuce is real easy almost all types of lettuce kale is real easy so check it out have any questions let me know and uh, just wanted to make this video you know for you guys and also like I said it's kind of a reference for me when I planted everything and where everything's planted so we'll give you guys an update I'm still gonna just throw some of these flowers around uh, not in here around my yard just for fun so Happy gardening, everyone. See you later.